day everybody welcome back to the dirty pat walsh channel on youtube with me your host dirty pat walsh how you doing i've been away for a few days um and things are going on man holy shit um first i want to just get get some regular channel stuff out of the way uh, i want to give some shout outs uh, i want to shout out a fellow named mike hardy who's been commenting on a bunch of my videos lately. Um, so thank you for watching my stuff. Uh, please consider subscribing if you're not. Maybe. I don't know. Um, Avid Tea Drinker has been commenting a lot on my, my, my videos lately. Uh, more so than usual. So thanks a lot, Avid Tea Drinker. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. Um, and recently I've seen Kurt Ulrich, uh, Real Talk Studios and Blind Sight all in the comment section. Those are old school Dirty Pat Walsh fan base people. <laughs> I, I feel weird saying fan base. Um, people who watch my shit, you know. Um, some fella named no, Mr. Not So Perfect commented on a, a kayak review i don't know what he was i don't know what 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 his deal was but i think he was a troll um jocelyn buford uh it's good to see you jocelyn is a, a peterborough singer songwriter um i don't think we've ever met in person but uh i'm a, I'm a fan of her work uh i like i think she's a great songwriter and, and performer uh you can find her out here on youtube um you know you can access her channel by hitting her icon in in the comment section um and uh i think she just goes under the name jocelyn um but yeah i did a harmonica track on one of her songs uh earlier this winter and man did it turn out good and and marcus uh the fellow who recorded it uh, played all these different mixes of it for me and i was just i was blown away yeah so i really hope to see hear that tune uh sometime uh jocelyn that'd be wicked um ryan kirky's always always here thanks thanks for commenting ryan ryan ryan's out in cornwall uh very very close to peterborough um, and I wanted to th once again thank Edward Morton uh, for the harmonicas that he sent me. Uh, I wanted to show you this is uh, this is uh, the cro the chromonica he sent me, and it's in this beautiful box. Like you know, the latch is still working good. Um, you know, it's a little it's got some nicks and stuff, but it's this is a, in great condition considering this is a a pre-World War II harmonica. Um, and in the bo he mentioned in the, in the letter he sent me uh, that the harmonica says made in England. And it does. In the box says made in England. Made in England. It's very small. I don't know if you can read it. Um, I had trouble reading it. But uh, the harmonica itself... Uh, Definitely says made in Germany. Made in Germany. So I, what my assumption is, is that uh, you know this harmonica was shipped to a to a Brit a British uh, distributor or whatever or box maker, <laughs> and uh, the boxes were made in England, and they're beautiful. They're like uh, you know this purple kind of velvety stuff um and this in this nice ribbon it's actually not a print it's actually a ribbon put across there um very cool very cool uh the harmonica itself the harmonica's got some issues it's it's quite quiet
That's weird. When I when I uh, press the slide, I can feel the slide rubbing across my top lip. That's that's kind of odd. Um, it's not very comfortable, <laughs> but. I usually don't play with the slide much anyway, but uh, but yeah, there's something up with this harmonic. It's very quiet. Um, I don't know. I don't know what what the deal is. It looks in beautiful condition. Um, it's an old wood body harp. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just like not very airtight or something. Like the wood's definitely receding from the reed plates, and there's a crack there. So maybe that's the issue. But uh, otherwise, a beautiful, a beautiful harmonica. Um, so thank you, Edward, very, very much. I know these are these are uh, pricey harps when you get them new. Um, and yeah, I wanted to. Uh, oh, no, no, oh, but I got it right here. Uh, I wanted to show you just how different the power bender and the power draw tunings are to a regular, a regular C harmonica, just so you know what, what, what I'm talking about. So I have a regular C, I have a Honer remaster here. It's nothing really special, but it's kind of like a blues harp with a plastic body. Um, I bought this, I bought this just because it was, I think it's a collector's limited edition thing but uh it, it's a great harmonica it's it it's my it's my favorite c harmonica to play um i always keep this in my in one of my jacket pockets i gotta i just i changed jackets today so um but yeah, this is, okay, so this is a, I'm just going to, like that's a regular C harmonica. This is the power bender. It's like right <laughs> It's very different. And the power draw as well. Uh, it's the power draw is more similar, but once again. It's, 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 it's fucked. <laughs> I think it's much like the power bender. It depends on uh, your bending capabilities on how well you can play it. 
But uh, I'm going to be doing a better review of this once I get a better handle on it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show, show you that stuff. Uh, I have another video I want to make um, that, isn't, that isn't this video. I'm going to probably hit you with a couple videos today. So, Cheers and be well, people. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, be well and stay free. Bye now.